What's up, happy people, and welcome to another Albion Online Hardcore Expedition tutorial video. And today, let's talk about Stone Wars 18. So yeah, guys, I failed again to give you the Fungicide 18 because I still don't have a map of it. All right. So yeah, let's proceed to this tutorial video. Let's go. So yeah, guys, for this next first part. Uh, you just need to wait for this patrol small mob to be here to the other one So whenever you use your royal shoes, you can easily drag the other one also And also that's the perfect timing where this other patrol will be on the safe area where you can easily pull it Okay That's why when you start the stone wars, it's uh, It's much better to start quickly So that you will have the timings Okay and then for this next part, you just wait for the Berserker to be near to this first long range mob So you won't pull the other one You just approach this one, this uh, small mob first And don't approach the Berserker immediately because you might pull the other two uh, The other mob standing on the other side And it might be a little messy but You know, it's only 18 and it's It's only small mobs, I mean So yeah and also guys, as you can see in this video, I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to bug your bridge watch cape. I mean, I don't know if you can use it in every cape, but yeah, in this in in my cape in bridge watch cape, I can bug it so many times as long as I have my E skill and my royal shoes. Okay? And then you activate your four hits and then root it after the four hits. So bagging your beach watch cape will help you a lot in many instances. So that's why you also you also need to learn about that one and it's a very good trick, man, you know? It's a very good trick. And, uh, and for this pool guys, you just wait for this two patrol. The berserker guy must be on that area where he is walking now. And this small mob must be approaching those two other berserker at the west side or walking backwards or walking away okay right that one you throw poison and then this berserk is moving back in there so that's the perfect timing if you see that if you see that situation so you can see easily pull all the mobs in this uh, room you know and then you just uh, roll over for the on the first uh, patrol berserker and then you activate your helmet once you pull the other two small mobs on the side and then once your helmet is done you activate your armor immediately so that you can resist all the normal attacks of the small mobs and then when they're together you use your E skill to stand them together so how will you be able to sustain all of this if they spin? I mean spin can easily be controlled by just using your enfeeble aura when you approach it you know all skills is a lot easier to handle with enfeeble aura so make sure that you know how to use your enfeeble aura right okay it's not just about using it it's about how you perfectly use it okay and then for this next part guys you just throw poison to this berserker and then you roll over backwards so that you whenever you stun you can stun them all three at together okay so guys I'm going to show you here the trick that I'm doing with the bridge watch cape okay okay guys wait you check for you check my character status okay a normal attack i will normal attack and then activate my shoes I activate shoes you see the bridge watch cape status it's not activated yet but i already have a bridge watch and then i activate it see so that's how you bag the bridge watch cape here in maybe you can do it on other instances too but yeah i use a lot of those bag bridge watch cape especially in 18 and 17 so you just uh, activate normal attack one normal attack and then right after you normal attack you activate iframe your e skill or your shoes or your yeah your royal shoes your f okay because the e skill of mace is also an iframe so that's why i said e but the best way for you to be able to use it and abuse it is by use through your royal shoes because the royal shoes cooldown is really less 
and maybe you can activate four to five bridge watch cape before activating it you know but depending on the pool because there are really pools that you don't need to buy it because you you really need to root them immediately you know but it's only for the big pools because it's small pools you can always but you know it's a little bit boring if you always use it you just use you just uh, uh use it if you need it if you really need it you know okay so yeah activate normal attack and then right after you activate your iframe is your shoes or your e skill if you're a tank or maybe try it on other weapon might also work you know and then for this next pull guys i'll just wait for that patrol to be on that area also with the other uh, axe thrower and berserker and then i roll over their first normal attack and then i use my helm after i pull the two small mobs in the middle of the bridge and then i walk towards and then i e skill while I e skill to stand them together and then activate my aggro and the root, okay? So, for you to be able to sustain this two axe thrower in level 18, you need to perfectly time your enfeeble aura for this part, okay? Enfeeble aura is your key success for this pool, okay? This that will be three norm three sets of normal attack by two norm by two axe thrower, and I don't think that there will be anyone who can sustain that unless you have three iframes and the uh, axe thrower are really synced together you know but yeah that's how you do it you need to perfectly time your enfeeble aura on on that area where you where you can use those that aura for two normal attacks of those two axe thrower and then for this next part guys you just throw poison i usually wait for the small patrol in here so i can kill them all and then when there's one you throw poison and then you normal dodge royal shoes and then helm to dodge all those normal attacks and then Q stun. Okay, and then activate your four hits. Three, four, root, Q again. Oops, stun, it's fine. You activate your breach watch cape. That's my that's one of the, the that's one maybe one of the best timing of my breach watch cape in this in my HC. If my breach watch cape is not there, I'm probably dead. So yeah, so that's it. That's how you do it. And then one, before the route is over, you just move immediately back to the pool and then stand them all and then activating also your four hits, but three hits first and then activate your armor so that whenever the berserker spin, you can still resist all the normal attacks from it. And then, yeah, and then four root Q or four Q root. That's it. And then just walk away and then repeat the same rotation again. Okay. So most of the time, this giant is always the last one to be alive. So you, sh so I'm just going to pull the small mob here and then drag it to that giant, so that you can save time and you can easily directly go to the two axe thrower remaining on the bridge after the bridge, you know. And that's it. So same thing again for the bridge, two axe thrower mob. So that's one of the uh, hardest pull in these giant maps like uh, what's the other one? Fungi fun the fungicide map also. Yeah, but it's fun because once you know their timing, you can easily dodge it. Okay? So I think this is a fail pull. I throw poison to this small map. <laughs> so yeah. So I, I'll, I'll just body pull it. I mean, you can just throw directly to poison to the axe thrower and then just walk over, walk backwards so they will they will be intact together they will be a little bit intact and you will have the space on the back to move okay that's why i still pull them a little forward all right that's that that's that's my always that's my point of my pulls i always want to the, them to intact together and then i always make sure that i will have a space to move freely without them uh ranging up my character you know you also need to establish those kind of things if you're a tank guys remember that it's not about just tanking and scaling and establishing your aggro you need to keep yourself also say as safe as possible okay so yeah so for the two axe thrower that's the best tip that i can give use your enfeeble aura efficiently okay 
the same thing with this mini boss but other party doesn't want to do this mini boss because this mini boss is really a, a headache but you know i like doing this kind of things man i like killing this mini boss this is my best practice for dodging and for my rotations also okay so that just just throw poison and then let them intact together and just make sure to dodge the normal attacks as many as you can okay sometimes you will not be able to do it all but sometimes you will get hit once or twice but it's fine as long as you stand them together you will be alive okay and then just maximize your resistance and iframes guys and also a tip you don't need to dodge the normal attack of the axe thrower the thing that that you will dodge in this in this pool is the normal attack of the mini boss okay so a lot of tanks confuse about how to tank this mini boss because they also dodge the normal attack of the axe thrower they waste their iframe on the axe thrower that is the fault in there you don't need to to dodge the normal attack of uh, axe thrower you need to dodge the normal attack of the boss that's why i'm really happy to tank this boss if ever they are synchronized together because they are easier to handle you know tank tank wise and healer wise they're easier together if they are synchronized but you know the duration of my stun on the mini boss is lesser than the axe thrower that's why it's so hard to sync them sometimes you know but if you activate your four hits before stunning them it's a different thing you know that's the thing i like about this passive your they will just sleep a lot using your four hits and then the stun man i'm telling you they will sleep but <laughs> if that mini boss activate that rage all the durations of your holds e skill and root will be lesser so make sure to use your iframe right image uh perfectly okay if you have a full hp let let it normal attacks you and then use your hp to regen to gain some time for the healer to regen your hp learn those kind of things guys and also a tip for the healer you should learn how to conserve your heals too it's not just about putting all your big heals immediately okay there's also a timing for you man that's why there that we are the two characters that is the most vital in this hce the tank and the healer okay so yeah and then for this next part i'll just wait for the patrol because whenever i don't wait for the patrol man this pool is a lot so messy for me if i don't wait for that patrol so that's why i always wait for that patrol i don't like messy pulls you know <sighs> okay the patrol is in there i'll just approach them and then dodge their normal attack while standing also them okay and then once you land your stun you will automatically aggro that small map so no need to no need to pull on that side anymore okay and then just dodge the normal attack act then up and then you have the now your i uh enfeeble aura to sustain it that's the thing that i'm telling you guys that's the timing dude if you don't have your enfeeble aura in there and you just keep on using it while all uh, i mean uh you activate your enfeeble aura and then using your iframes what's the use of your enfeeble aura if you will use your iframe man but there are certain but i mean not all the time there are situations also that you need to iframe while also in, in feeble aura you know? i'm just talking about that kind of pulls you know never underestimate all all mobs in 18 guys this is maybe 1.5 harder than 15 before because 15 that nowadays feels like a little bit like 13 or yeah 13 or 12 before but 18 is really a different thing man this is really hard and also it's hard to reach ah it's hard to practice on this map because this is the end map and you cannot spam maps anymore that's why the practice is a little bit different you know 
that's the bad uh, that's only the downside for me that I'm I've been seeing right now because you cannot spam the mobs anymore but it's fine it gives the challenge it's the part of the challenge in HCE so yeah guys that's it so that's how I complete my counts in Stone Wars okay I also include killing the miniboss okay so that's how I this is my this is how I really ran my stone wars. I never change it. So how do I skip in this part? You just stand in here in this bridge and then you activate your W and then walk and then use your dodge. Then out shoes. A lot of you thinks that it this uh this skip is really far, but it's no man. It's just exact. You will land on the perfect place where you cannot aggro anything. See? Okay, so don't doubt it. Just keep on doing. Just keep on uh, walking. Okay, so for this pull, guys, I usually uh, I don't pull the small mobs together with the mage, so that the, whenever I pull the mage, oh, so I first pull the small mobs. I let that mage walk towards the boss, and then I pull, and then I group and pull these four small mobs, and then when they're together, I'll just root it, and then. I'll pull the mage separately so that the reflect guy can Ill kill it instantly so that all the skills will land on the same time you know just like in fungicide the stacking I mean there's no other way for you to be able to deal no better way for you to be deal dealing with this uh, mage that's the best way you stack and then let all the lightning hit one ground so that the reflect guy can Still kill him, but I think this time I think the guy doesn't have any helm. That's why he doesn't that didn't die, but it's fine. It's almost dead. Okay, so for the boss guys, maximize your rotations. Okay, I'm using BMS Black Monk stuff, Steve, and then the skill that I'm using in there is uh, how do you call that one? The rollover, I think the one that the rollover, yeah, for my Q skill, I think that's the Q2, where I, so that I can interrupt the skill of this boss, the lightnings, okay, with the force pull swing, oh, uh, cartwheel, I think that's the the name of that skill, cartwheel. So yeah, and then the W for uh, force pull, and then the E skill, okay, and also don't forget to throw poison. You need that one to, to build aggro, you so that you can easily build uh, your aggro, okay. So yeah, that's it. Maximize and then taunt for the armor. Whenever this boss jumps, just use your taunt. Okay? So that's the only thing that is confusing in this boss. Okay? Sometimes I get confused too. I thought the, the boss will jump. I, I thought the boss will skill lightning and then he will just suddenly jump. So I'll, I'll automatically use my uh, interrupt skill and then the boss will lightning. You know? So that's the thing that you need to avoid also and that's the thing that you need to check in here, okay? Always have taunt when I, so whenever this boss jumps you can easily take the aggro again. But I mean if your if your members in the party all have tenacity, then it's no problem. Someone can just click its tenacity whenever this boss jumps towards him, okay? So yeah. So the key part for you to be able to really tank this boss is through maximizing your resistance and iframe. And if you have someone in their DPS who also have a bridge watch cape, it will help a lot. Okay? Same goes with the preaching boss. If there's someone in your party who have bridge watch cape, dude, it will really help you a lot. It can save you three seconds, four seconds. For you to have your cooldown for your next for your next rotation, you know. And also, guys, if ever you got stuck with the lightning, just immediately move away, man. The range of your healer and your uh, DPS is not that long, you know. They might step on the side of the lightning and it might kill them, you know. So just move immediately. The 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 area of this boss is really uh, big, so just maximize it. Okay. So also when this boss spins, 
You just have one guy. That's the best way to deal this boy, this this boss. No, especially when you're short in time, have one guy with the spear. Okay, so that when this boss starts spinning like that, the spear guy can easily reflect it and kill it. Okay, and as a tank, don't do this. What I just did, don't put all your resistance in there, man. Your guy will reflect it. I know it's my fault. But I know he can, he can stop it, but maybe he activates something that he needs to keep on doing, still doing it. So it's still really my fault, you know. So as a tank, control yourself, man. Don't do what I just did, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's, that's it. That's all. And then just avoid it. Your E skill can also stop this boss from moving whenever he spins, okay? So if ever your guy... you. you you're in your party he doesn't have any spear guy you can use your e skill to control this boss while he is spinning okay so guys yeah that's how you how you can control this boss easily okay so i hope you guys learned something from this one so i'm still going to show you the chest loot of course this is your request guys i will not fail you okay Okay guys, I'm almost in 1k subs and when I reach 1k subs, I'm going to have a giveaway. Okay, so comment down below your IGN and like this video and yeah, watch the whole video and like and subscribe. Okay, so we can reach 1k subs and I'll have 2 tank sets and 2 black panthers giveaway. Okay, and if ever I don't find any seller, I'll just give 20 million silver for two people and then 5 million silver for another two people. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See ya. God bless. Bye bye.